Hello, I'm Dave Llewellyn. Here are your headlines from 7 Action News. Crime Stoppers is offering a $2,500 reward to help solve a cold-blooded murder. 18-year-old Mohammed Al Adani was laying on a couch when he was shot to death September 17th. It was at a home on Memorial near Paul Avenue in Northwest Detroit. If you have any information that could help solve this crime, call 1-800-SPEAK-UP. You can remain anonymous. A woman accused of stealing a moose ornament from someone's lawn is facing charges. It has happened in the area of Seven Mile and Middle Belt in Livonia. The city's police department shared this video on its Facebook page, uh, two hours later, they tracked her down and arrested her. Here's Chief Meteorologist Dave Rexroth now with a check of your seven first alert forecast. Going to be mild for a while. Look at this, 70 to 73 Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Bright sun Wednesday and Thursday might start with a touch of fog, but bright sunshine through most of the day. And Friday, mostly dry as well. That rain chance is very late in the day or during the evening hours. However, a huge change in temperatures, at least 20 degrees colder over the weekend with highs in the 50s. Saturday, there's some wind and rain as well. All right, Dave, thanks. New developments in the outbreak of a potentially deadly mosquito-borne illness. The state confirming a 10th human case of eastern equine encephalitis, or Triple E. That case in Cass County, the western side of the state. Uh, Triple E is one of the most dangerous mosquito-borne diseases in the U.S. with a 33% fatality rate in people who become sick. Those are your 7 Action News headlines. We have these stories, much more on our website at WXYZ.com and on our app. Have a great night.